Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. I'm Rodo Alvarez, your guest today, uh, your host today, I'm sorry. And um, here with me for our Secrets for Your Honeymoon webinar in Costa Rica uh, is um, Lisa Sederberg. Hi, Lisa, how are you? Hi, Rodo, I'm great, thanks for having me. Thank you for coming and joining me here today. Uh, so real quick, uh, our agenda today is gonna be uh, really fast, Lisa. We'll be talking about why Costa Rica is a preferred destination. Uh, for honeymoons, uh, we'll be talking about some hotel special features that we consider are important for the guests to consider whenever they plan in their vacation. And uh, also we'll be talking about some unique experiences, uh, those special hotels that they offer something different. And then we will be making some suggestions before we take uh, your questions at the end of our conversation. Uh, very important to mention two things. Uh, you will be watching some videos from our YouTube uh, video library so if you want to watch them again or if you want to uh, watch more or all of them it's really easy all you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel and you will be getting updates all the time so you won't miss anything also the second thing that I want to talk to you is uh, our Q&A session please uh, feel free to drop us your questions on the chat section you see uh, below uh, all you have to do is um, either sign in, sign in with your social media to post your question or simply click the guest option on the right and enter your question. No signing is required. And um, uh, by the end of our webinar, we'll be giving some um, special uh, offers to our audience today. Um, also very important, uh, I'd like to go back and say that Lisa Sederberg uh, decided to move down here to Costa Rica back in 2008 with three suitcases and seven dogs. So she's a dog girl. <laughs> <laughs> she's from LA and she's been working for CRV for almost four years now. Right, Lisa? Yep, that is correct. I've been here. Yeah, I've been in Costa Rica almost seven years and I absolutely love that it's home to me. And I love my job. That's great. I love my job too. So um, let's talk about um, our subject today, Lisa. Uh, why do you think Costa Rica is a preferred destination for uh, most of the people whenever they plan their honeymoon, that special trip? I think people come to Costa Rica for their honeymoon because it's, it's a really romantic destination. You see pictures of jacuzzis that look out to the rainforest or the ocean and there's adventure. There's kind of something for for everyone. So I think whether it's romance, adventure, relaxation, or kind of a combination of everything, uh, Costa Rica really has everything to offer here. You'll you'll have a once in a lifetime honeymoon experience. That's great. And uh, and another thing that I that I think it makes this country very special is that most of the hotels here in the country they have I'll say forty rooms or less, which may have which gives them the, the opportunity to have a real service for their guests. Exactly. 80% of our hotels here actually are 40 rooms or less. So they're more boutique style, but that does usually offer, you know, service, a more personalized experience at the hotel. A lot of times they'll know your name, do little special favors for you if you need them. They don't have that big resort style. Most of them. We do have some resorts too. Talking about those special favors, how about would those the people, whenever they come to you and say, oh, I want to do something different, I would like to surprise my wife, I'd like to surprise my husband with this and that, you know, those little somethings, uh, can, can, can you do that? Uh, of course, I do certain special requests all the time for people, whether it's um, arranging a, a personalized candlelit dinner on, on the beach or an in-room massage maybe a personal chef coming to cook a special meal. Um, whatever it is, whatever re uh, request that you have, just let us know and we can certainly talk to the hotels and our client services department are, are great help with all those details. Too. Yeah, I, I was part of the client services department uh, back in a while. Uh, and we usually call and ask for a bottle of wine, for exactly. fruits, vodka, or you know, like a couple's massage, as you said. Um, so why don't we start talking about those special features uh, that you think are important uh, for the honeymoons. Okay. Uh, let's talk. Let's start talking about uh, adults only, Lisa. Adults only. Costa Rica isn't 
we don't typically have too many adults only hotels that be, that are just for adults only. We have many hotels that have different adults only features, however. So some of them might have an adults only section or an adults only pool, uh, adults only hot springs. So just depending on what you're looking for, there are certain adult only features and we do have a few hotels that are adults only. Yes, um, before we move on uh, with our conversation, Lisa, I, I think it's important to let our audience know that as you see on the screen, uh, you're going to see different names of hotels in the different areas of the country, Arenal, Guanacaste, Manuel Antonio, as you see that one on this, uh, as you see on this one. Um, we're not going to go into details with all of these uh, hotels because uh, it's going to be a really extensive list. But if you want to know more about them, feel free to drop us a line and we'll be more than happy to tell you all about them, okay? So let's move to the next one, Elisa. Uh, In-room jacuzzis, the one, the must have. Yep, them. that's probably one of the biggest requests we get. Um, are people who want a jacuzzi in the room or want a jacuzzi on the balcony? Um, that's definitely possible at some of the hotels. You might get an ocean view, uh, jacuzzi on the balcony. You might have a beautiful view of the volcano. Um, so it really just depends if that's a feature that is really important to you. Again, just let us know and we'll pick the proper the property that best suits you. Yeah. And um, how about the on-site hot springs? Hot springs are also a big request. Um, you're going to find most of the hot springs in Arenal. Uh, that's where the volcano is. So they're, they, the hot, the hot thermal water comes from the volcano. So some hotels have hot springs on site, which are nice because you can relax in them after doing tours during the day. Right. Uh, if your hotel doesn't have hot springs on site, you can always, there's always offsite hot springs that you can enjoy with a, a nice, you know, romantic dinner. I'd like to go ahead and mention something here. As you see it on the screen, uh, most of the, and as you said it, uh, Lisa, most of the hot springs uh, are located in the Arnold area where the volcano is, but there are a couple of exceptions. Those are the Rio Perdida that we'll be talking about it later on, and also the Borinquen Lodge uh, up in the north in Guanacaste. Um, beachfront hotels, Lisa. Beachfront hotels, that's another big one on the list for people, um, being right on the beach. Costa Rica, we don't, surprisingly enough, we don't have tons of hotels that are right on the beach, mostly because the shoreline is protected and hotels can only build a certain amount of feet uh, from the shoreline. Mm -hmm. um, but we definitely do have some beachfront hotels. It doesn't necessarily mean that your room is going to be on the beach or that you're going to have an ocean view, but the hotel property itself would be located beachfront. So again, if that's important, just let us know. Mm -hmm. One, uh, I also would like to go ahead and mention a specific case here. Uh, it's an exception, as you see it on the bottom. It's the Copa de Arbol Lodge. It's located on the Osa Peninsula, really close to the Corcovado National Park. It's a beautiful lodge, beachfront, but it is not a beach destination by itself. It's more for people who would like to be tucked into nature. Exactly. It's it, going down to the OSA. The OSA has holds 5% of the world's biodiversity. So you're not necessarily going there to go to the beach. You're going there to see the incredible wildlife, snorkel, Caño Island, hike Corcovado National Park. It's a lot of hiking and just uh, being immersed in nature more, more so than a beach experience. Correct. It's actually my favorite part of the country. <laughs> it is. It's mine too. It's, it's incredible. So why don't we start talking about uh, these hotels that stand out from the crowd, uh, from the rest, uh, are unique. They, they offer unique experiences, Lisa. Yeah, there are so many, but um, there are definitely some that do stand out that are a little bit more unique in certain ways. Um, El Silencio Lodge is it's only about an hour and a half from San Jose. So if you arrive into San Jose, it's not a, it's not a far drive. Um, it's in the cloud forest region. So it's going to be a little bit cooler, um, but that makes nice for snuggling on a chilly night. Um, they, all of the, the bungalows have uh, hot tubs and whirlpools on the balcony. So that's a really, really nice feature. Um, they make all the, their meals from locally grown, you know, produce. Uh, they're very eco-friendly. They have a great yoga deck. Um, it's it's for people who really kind of want to get away from everything and people that like to hike. Uh, right. You can do activities from there also. One of the most beautiful waterfalls, mm -hmm. Bajos del Toro, is right near there. Um, so it's really a, it is a unique experience. You're not going to be near 
towns or a lot of people so it's really if you want to spend some quality time together yeah um, and also uh, what I like about this hotel is that they also have this uh, cultural experience uh, countryside so people can get a sense or a feeling of what a uh, Costa Ricans live like in the countryside. Oh, exactly. It's you. You drive past homes. You drive past little towns with, to get there. So you really do get a feel for for the Costa Rican countryside, like you said. And I have a very strategic uh, location because, uh, you, as you said, you can go white, white rafting. You can go and visit the Paz volcano for a day, and then you can move on to the Arenal volcano and do the hot springs if you want to. Exactly. You could do that, or head on to the beach location if you if you you kind of want to get out of the, the rainforest or the cloud forest, so it's a really nice way to start your trip. Yep. And uh, let's move to the next one, um, which is uh, the Cura Design Villas. Cura is a really interesting property. It's, um, it's by far more modern than many of our hotels here. Uh, it's, more, it's a more sleek design, I guess you would say. The infinity pool is incredible. The views from the infinity pool are, are magnificent. Uh, it's down in Uvita, uh, which is down in the central Pacific area of Costa yeah. Rica. Um, it's adults only, so it is one of the properties that would be for adults only. So if you want to make sure you're not going to have a pool, that's definitely a good, <laughs> good choice for you. Um, but it's very, very romantic. Like the service is great. It's it's a really and neat tour and uh, watching right. that snorkeling. The views are simply amazing. As you see it on the screen right now, our colleague Adam Baker is actually located at the boot line. What you see on the on the the beach, uh, it's I mean it probably it's one of the best beach views, ocean views that it you is. see. It's not set on the beach. That's kind of important to know. It is up on top of a hill, but that's what gives the, the property the most incredible views. It's really beautiful. And they have a very interesting, modern, trendy decor. It's kind of a minimalist architecture. Yeah, exactly. Minimalist is a good way to put it. Not a lot of frills. You're not going to see a lot of like hardwood or teak wood like many of our other hotels. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more sleek and modern. And one thing that you, and you know, uh, I remember I remember when I was there my last time, um, uh, a very interesting feature, uh, which is the pool. Uh, like I said, uh, you saw it, the, the uh, view is amazing. A little surprise for you, whenever you uh, dive into the water, uh, you can actually listen to your favorite music, music if you want to. Yeah, they have the music streaming inside the pool, so you can even hear it when you're underwater. It's a, it's a very unique experience. I actually uh, brought my own... Uh, iPod and uh -huh. I told the bartender, oh, can you please put this music for me, please? And it was actually really, really nice. Oh, that's very nice. I'll have to keep that in mind for my clients. <laughs> so um, let's move to the next one, uh, the Pacuare Lodge. Pacuare Lodge is a really cool property. It is located on a riverbank, kind of in the middle of nowhere, I guess you could say. Um, you can get a ground transfer there, but one of the unique things about this property is that you river raft. Most people prefer and actually choose the property because you get to river raft down the Pacquari River, which is one of the most beautiful rivers and canyons that we have here. So you rev river raft into the lodge. Um, and yeah, like I, I said, it's on the riverbank. So it's beautiful. You can zip line there. You can hike there. Um, the casitas or the cabinas are just beautiful. Uh, very, very, very natural feel. You're going to be far away from everything, though, so you don't expect to be able to walk to a little store or, you know, you're not going to be around other people. So it's it's very, you know, private. Yeah, off the beaten path, may we say. Definitely off the beaten path. I would highly recommend uh, upgrading to one of the suites that, that have the jacuzzis that overlook oh, the rainforest and the river, yeah. they're beautiful. I would also like to suggest our audience, whenever they are at the Papara Lodge, to uh, to the rainforest, uh, they actually uh, not you 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 don't actually hike into the um, rainforest and watch all the amazing habitat they have, but you will end up your uh, hike at one of the uh, indigenous communities around. Yes, that's very very unique and and very special. It's something you don't don't get to experience everywhere here, so that is a really nice feature too. Uh, and uh, I also like the candlelight dinner. Oh yeah, they don't have electricity, so in the evening when you're having your candlelight dinner, they'll go into your room and turn down your bed and light all the candles, so when you get back from dinner, you're going to have a really incredibly romantic experience. Yeah, 
And uh, let's let's talk about our next one uh, that we have previously mentioned, which is uh, Rio Perdido, and I know it's one of your favorites, Lisa. Yeah, Rio Perdido is one of my new favorites. Um, it's a it's a relatively newer hotel. It's built into into the can in, in between two canyons. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the features I love about this property is the thermal river. It's a natural thermal river. Um, and natural hot springs. So this is not in Arnal. This is in Guanacaste. So it's only about an hour and a half, I'd say, from the airport. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it's really cool. Each of the indiv 20 individual bungalows are built on to disturb the trees. And then, you know, they built around as much of it as possible. Um, but they're kind of like tree houses, I guess yeah. you could say. Mm -hmm. uh, to get to them, you walk across hanging bridges or down the pathways. Uh, they grow all their own local uh, food, and the community provides the organic food also. Um, but you can do all kinds of cool activities. They have mountain biking trails. I believe it's 10 to 16 kilometers of mountain biking trails, mm -hmm. uh, which you can also hike on. You can do rappelling, zip lining, tubing. Um, and then, of course, one of the main draws is sitting. Luxury myself to be there. But I, um, everything I hear about it is just great things about Rio Perdido. Yeah, and some people don't want to go all the way to Arnal. Uh, some people are a little intimidated by the two and a half hour drive. So yeah. there's a little a lot of the same experiences. And then combine it with a beach destination in Guanacaste, and that's a really nice package. Yeah, that's correct. Because they're going to have, you know, like it's still they're going to have the hot springs and they're going to have all the chances to uh, go into different uh, adventure tours during the daytime so they can easily expand their uh, three nights or four. Oh, yeah, easily. It, it's very doable. And it's also, you know, a little, it's unique. So not, and it's newer. So not everyone knows about it. So there, it's not going to be overrun with people. It's really in, it's in nowhere near a tourist town. So you're also going to get that very local cultural feel on your way to and from the property. And now let's talk about the Nayara Hotel. Nayara, the famous Nayara. Um, this is obviously, well, not obviously to you guys, but Nayara is one of my top picks for Costa Rica in general. Uh, the service, the the decor, the the food, it's just an experience, really. It's a beautiful property. Um, they have Casita Deluxes. They have Nayara Suites. And they also have the newer <coughs> Nayara Springs Villas, uh, which are for adults only. Mm -hmm. um, the features, one of the main features that people love about this property is that each of the casitas have a private jacuzzi on the balcony that overlooks the rainforest. Mm -hmm. And then the Nayara Springs Villas have thermal plunge pools in front of the villa. So it's all surrounded by the rainforest and beautiful vegetation. The grounds are immaculate and incredible, but it's it's truly an experience. And I think any honeymooner would love to stay at this property. It's it's really amazing to be at any of these two uh, Nayara hotels. It's a different experience. And uh, uh, I mean, and I think that, as you said, the, the service and the food is just like, not only you have these incredible facilities, but the staff is they just go the extra mile. Yeah, the they time. do. They're one and the spa there is wonderful too. The spa, oh that and the outside rain showers and there's just so many features that make it one of the most romantic hotels there are. It actually is one of the uh it wins all kinds of awards from Condé Nast, Forbes, you know, for being a unique and you know, beautiful boutique hotel. Yeah, international rewarded all over. Everyone, I mean, if you go to any uh, website, you will always hear about them. Yep, and it books up early. So if that's on your top of your list to stay there. Hello, everyone. Um, I'd like to apologize. For, uh, we had a technical inconvenience here. Roto just wanted to take a break, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> <But> <laughs> so um, uh, once again, I apologize for this inconvenience. You know how high tech is sometimes. Uh, it's supposed to make us our life easier, but sometimes they played us some tricks. Exactly, but it's all good. So may we go back uh, to where we were? Of course. We left off at Nayara. Yes, we were talking about the beautiful settings of Nayara and the incredible experience that you have with their service and the food in the hotel. Yep, exactly. And the room categories are different prices, so you can actually stay there pretty moderately, or if you really want to splurge, the Nayar Springs Villas are definitely worth it.
And, and we were just saying uh, before we had this thing uh, that uh, availability is one thing that they people need to consider if they want to come here. Yeah, especially if it's your honeymoon, you want it to be, you know, it's a once in a lifetime experience, hopefully. Um, so you really want to make sure that you're getting your first choice in accommodation. So if you want to stay at some place special and unique and there's only 40 rooms, you definitely want to make sure that you get your reservations in early. Right, because it's, uh, as you said, it's a small hotel. It's uh, very famous, international rewarded by different uh, uh, places and companies all over the world. So uh, um, availability can be a Exactly. If it's on your challenge. list to stay there, you want to plan ahead for sure. So, uh, Lisa, uh, once again, we, uh, let's talk about uh, La Parillos. But before we talk about La Parillos, Lisa, I'd like to remind our audience today that if you guys want to uh, ask us something, feel free to drop us your questions on the chat box you see below. You can either sign in with your social media or just click the guest option on the right and enter your question. No signing is required I for, and uh, I'm glad that it's still there. So once again, uh, people, uh, drop us any questions. Um, so Lisa, going back to our these unique experiences hotel, La Parrios. La Parrios is also one of, on the top of my list of favorites in Costa Rica. Again, it's a it's down in the Osa Peninsula in Puerto Jimenez. Mm -hmm. um, it is a truly unique experience. When I stayed there, I felt like I was in National Geographic with the wildlife. You wake <laughs> up, they leave your coffee outside your bungalow mm -hmm. in the morning. All of the, the rooms are open. They're all screened in, but you have amazing views of um, the Gulf, and it's, it's just incredible, the wildlife from parrots, monkeys, I mean, every bird species you can imagine. Uh, you can do dolphin tours, whale tours, and La Parrios has some really, really cool um, uh, tours that you can do on site that are included in your stay, whether it's the medicine man walk where you learn to what the different plants do medicinally, um, things like that. They're, it's also very uh, big on sustainability, so they work with the communities around there. Mm -hmm. um, but again, the views are incredible. Mm -hmm. It is not, it's not right on the beach, but I think it takes, it took me maybe less than 10 minutes to walk down to the beach. And while I was down at the beach, actually, um, whale season was supposedly over and I was just sitting on the beach and out of the corner of my eye, I saw three incredible whales wow. just playing out in the ocean. It was, it's a really, really unique place. Uh, so, Lisa, we've been talking about, you know, uh, special features and things that uh, people should uh, have whenever they have, uh, whenever they're planning their vacation and their honeymoon. And now um, uh, we talked about these uh, six uh, properties because of, the, uh, of their special uh, experiences. But, um, you know, people may be like, oh, okay, I've, I've seen a lot, I like these, I like that, but can I come? Can I pair this hotel with this one, or how do I move from this place to these others to, to these other ones? So, why don't we make some suggestions uh, to our audience today, whenever they planted their honeymoon? Yeah, that's great. Um, so, uh, let's start talking with uh, adventure. What would you suggest for anyone who would like to come here and have an adventurous honeymoon? Adventure. I like to pair Nayara, the one of the hotels we just featured, with Copa de Arbol. Um, Nayara, because you get all the adventures in Arenal. Uh, you mm -hmm. can do anything and everything there that you've heard of, zip lining, rappelling, whatever it might be. And then Copa de Arbol because the two pair really, really nicely together as far as the decor and the service and things like that. So that's that's kind of a, a really awesome package. Um, another one would be the Springs Resort. They have incredible hot springs on site. If you stay in the honeymoon suite, they have jacuzzi in the room. Um, and that goes nice with Buena Vista Villas. Buena Vista Villas is in Manuel Antonio, mm -hmm. and they have their own private beach. Yeah. Um, views are incredible. So those two go really nicely together. Great. How about uh, off the beaten path, those who wants to be away from the crowds, from the tourists. Off the beaten path, uh, we get this a lot, people that don't want to be around tourists, that people don't want to go to your typical tourist destinations. Uh, one of my favorite pairings is Pecuari Lodge. Uh, that's the one where you can river raft into or river raft out of. Um, and Cura Design Villas in uh, Dominica. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, those two are a nice combination because they're very different. They're each very different feel but because they're 
kind of far away from everything. They're they're definitely off the beaten path. And um, uh, I see another one. How about Rio Perdido and Latitude 10? Yep, Rio Perdido, again, just mentioned that one and all the features. Latitude 10 is another one of my favorites. That's down in Santa Teresa in the Nicoya Peninsula. So uh, I recommend taking a domestic flight to get down there, but the hotel is beachfront. The rooms are all open air, incredible uh, furniture, and oh, it's, yeah. it's just, there's only six rooms, so it's extremely intimate, very, very private. Uh, you listen to the ocean from your bed at night. It's, it's, it's a really, really beautiful property. Uh, how about for those looking for luxury, eco-friendly hotel? Those are friends that are, uh, that their mind about their footprints and their vacation. Uh, Two hotels that I like to pair together um, are El Silencio, the one that's in the cloud forest, mm -hmm. up into Playa Samara in Guanacaste. Mm -hmm. um, I like these two. They are very based on sustainability, very eco-friendly, and they have some really, really cool ex uh, cultural experiences at the hotel, whether it's cooking classes or bartending classes, learning how to make tortillas or empanadas, things like that. So it's actually... If people want a little bit more of a cultural experience, these two properties are, are really, really nice together. Yeah. And um, Lost Iguana and La Parillas? Lost Iguana I like in Arenal. Um, it's it's not near all of the other hotels. It's going to be further around Lake Arenal, uh, a little bit further out of town. But they have incredible hiking trails. Um, so you're really immersed and tucked away into nature. Yep. Uh, and then uh, the deluxe rooms also have jacuzzis with incredible volcano views. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, uh, La Parillos, what we just mentioned, the, the open screen rooms and the, the wildlife that greet you. It's just you sit out on your balcony at 530 in the morning and you're you're in another world. Yeah. Um, I, this, is a, it, this is a very interesting combination because uh, it, at Los Tijuana, you are set in the middle of the rainforest, and now when you go to La Parillos, you are set in the middle of the jungle. Yeah, so, exactly. As it's, you said, it's it's the, the wildlife is actually your alarm clock. Yes, it is for sure, and you <laughs> want to wake up because that's when everything is alive, and the monkeys are all in the trees, and birds are all singing. It's 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 truly like National Geographic. And uh, so let's move on to those who wants to have spa experiences, everything about wellness and relaxation. Wellness and relaxation. Uh, in Arenal, again by the volcano, Tabacon Grand Spa uh, is very famous. They're the oldest hot springs in the area. They have an incredible thermal river that runs through the hot springs. Um, and it really pretty volcano views. They also have uh, hot springs called Shangri-La, which are only for adults and only for guests of the hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, other outside people can go to the regular hot springs, but the Shangri-La is reserved just for guests, and their spa is incredible. They have every kind of treatment you can imagine. It's probably the best in, uh, in the area. Yeah, if people want a true spa experience only, that's going to be a, a great one. Hands down, they will love it. Yep, for sure. And then the Westin is one of the uh, All-inclusive resorts that we have here. Again, a great spa. The beach is one of the prettiest beaches we have. It's more of the white sand, blue water that we get asked for a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, great food and everything's included. So that's nice. You can just sit, sip your cocktails all day long. <laughs> <laughs> and um, last but not least, um, I'd like to I'd like you to have some suggestions for those who are looking for beach only vacation. They just want to go to the beach. Yeah, some people don't want to switch locations halfway through. So if you just want to go to the beach uh, in the North Pacific part of Guanacaste, I would recommend uh, the Westin, which is the all inclusive. It's a resort, so this is one of the more resort style hotels we have here, mm -hmm. but done really, really well. It's not like one of your mega resorts. Like, and then all seven bedroom boutique hotel, adults only. Uh, all your meals are included. Um, the bartender Christian makes the best mojitos at the swim up bar. Uh, so it's got three beautiful beaches all within 10 minutes from the villa. And you're really close to the little town of Coco if you want to go listen to live music or, you know, walk around, buy some souvenirs. So it's got a little of everything there. Those mojitos from Christian uh, at the happy hour, the sunset happy hour, just a treat. Yes, definitely can't miss that. And then in the Central Pacific uh, area of Manuel Antonio, uh, Reynes del Mar and Buena Vista Villas are going to be the two only hotels in that area that have their own private beaches. 
So Arenas Del Mar, um, incredible service, really based on sustainability and eco-friendliness also. Uh, service is great, food is great, and the beach is really, really beautiful. Um, and then Buena Vista Villas is, is, is truly like the, the villas and the rooms are sprinkled in the rainforest. Yep. You're gonna have monkeys visiting you in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, the beach is private also. The kayaks, the boogie boards, the snorkeling equipment. Uh, so that's also one of my favorites in Manuel Antonio. Thank you, thank you very much, Lisa. I'd like to remind our audience that uh, these suggestions uh, that Lisa just made are just the special options because they all have uh, something unique uh, for memorable uh, honeymoons, but there are many other hotels to choose from that could feed into everyone's budget. Um, yeah, uh, many of these are, are, are luxury options, but please don't think that's all we have. We have, uh, we have options to fit anyone's budget. So whatever your budget is, that's what we work with. Exactly, uh, because we work with 100% customizable vacations, so people can actually have a, like a moderate hotel on the first half of their honeymoon, and then move on into a more luxurious treat at the end. Exactly. A lot of people like to do that way. Go a little more moderate maybe in r &L or end in r and at Nayara or whatever it is, but it's always nice to end on the highest note. Exactly. And another thing important to mention to our audience today, season it actually goes from May up to November, and that's probably the best time to come and plan your honeymoon here in Costa Rica because the weather is good throughout the country, flowers and trees are blooming, everything is lush and green, and probably the most important thing, Lisa, is that people can take advantage of all the hotel specials they have during this season. Yes, definitely. Green season, people tend to shy away from coming during green season because they picture monsoons or typhoons, which we don't have here. Yes. Um, so a lot of times it might rain in the later afternoon for an hour or two, but usually the mornings are bright and sunny. Uh, especially during the transitional months of May, June, July, even in parts of August, yes. uh, November. Those are really good months to come. If it's your honeymoon, you don't want a crowded pool or a crowded beach, uh, uh, that's a good time to come. And like you said, Roto, the, the some great specials. Free pay break your bank if you're smart. Exactly. You can sometimes get a, night, a seven night vacation paying only five nights. Five nights. Exactly. That's true. Uh, so um, uh, I think it's time, Lisa, to take our, uh, some questions from our audience. I see some uh, on, the, on the chat box now, but I'd like to, uh, so I, I'm going to, if that's fine for you, Lisa, I'd like to take one from the, uh, the ones that we had previously beforehand that people sent us, and then another one from the audience. Is that okay? Sure, of course. So the first one is uh, from the previous one uh, that people sent us beforehand. It says, hello, my fiance and I are looking for an all-inclusive honeymoon that includes meals, drinks, airfare, and air transfer to the resort. Please confirm if this is possible. Thanks. Well, we do not include airfare in our packages, mostly because each of our, our packages is completely customized. So we don't pre-buy airfare or airfare wholesale prices. We can definitely help you get airfare. We have an airfare partner that we work with, but that would not be included in the price of the package. If it's an all-inclusive resort you want to go to where everything's included, we can work that out. If you want to combine maybe R and all where you do non-all-inclusive for a few days and then all-inclusive for the beach portion, a lot of people choose to do that. But really, Ed, it's really whatever you want your vacation to be. Okay, so here's the first one from uh, our audience today. It says, how do you get from Kura to the beach? They have a shuttle. They can take you down to the shuttle. It would take probably about, I think it takes about 10 minutes to get down there. It is up on the hill. So if you're driving there, a lot of people rent a car when they stay at Kura, mm -hmm. a four by four. A regular little car is not going to make it up the, the bumpy hill. So definitely if you're going to drive, which a lot of people do because they like to explore the areas around there, Dominical, mm -hmm. Um, which isn't a bad idea, um, then the 4x4 will make it, but otherwise Kura can, and even if you have a regular rental car, there's a meeting point where they will come pick you up and take you up to the villas. Yep. Uh, next one from beforehand, it says, hello, I'm getting married on October the 31st, uh, congratulations. I'm looking, uh, I'm looking to go 
away either at the end of November, beginning of December. What's the weather conditions around there? And what would you guys recommend as a honeymoon package? Uh, October, September and October are going to be a little rainy, but November is actually a good time because that's one of our transitional months. We're going from our green season into our dry season yes, and our high season also. So November, December, you're still going to get the green season specials, uh, less people, uh, and again, it's our summer is beginning. So most of the mornings and days are going to be, you know, bright and sunny. If it rains in the afternoon, again, it might rain for an hour or two. Um, but it's actually really romantic kind of sitting out on your balcony, listening to the tropical rain while you look at the volcano or the ocean. Yeah. So definitely don't be scared to come during those months. It's a really good time to come. And here's another one from our crowd. It says, um, what if you want to stay at Nayara and want to enjoy the hot springs? What I rec what I normally do for my clients is uh, you just do a tour of the hot springs. So we offer different every hot springs are different pricing and different experiences. One of my favorite hot springs in Arenal is Eco Termales. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be kind of the most romantic, I would say. They uh, only allow a certain amount of people per day, um, and most of those tours include dinner. So it's nice to do those tours in the evening. Usually, people might go zip lining during the day, and then in the evening do the the hot springs and dinner tour. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, well, I think that time's up. Um, Lisa, I want to thank you for joining me here today. Thank you for having me. I love, I love, honeymoons are probably my favorite vacations to plan, so I'm really excited I got to talk about this with you. And before we leave, Lisa, I'd like to give our audience a special uh, offer. Um, I'd like to give everyone who's interested uh, in, a, in getting a free quote from us and ready to commit and book their vacations, I'd like to give them an offer, a free tour if they book one week vacation with us. Nice. That's a great, that's a good deal. Yeah. And uh, all they have to do is simply drop us a line to, to the, our emails as you see it on the screen and uh, just uh, put on the subject line webinar honeymoon. Again, that's webinar honeymoon so we can identify you and um, whenever we make our quote for you, we know that we will give you um, a free tour. I mean, and everyone will take a tour while you're here. You cannot avoid having a tour anyway, right? Exactly. You're going to want to do a tour. And actually, some of the tour companies, we even let them know it's your honeymoon. So once in a while, the, the tour company themselves will do something a little extra for you. And uh, so time's up. And uh, I want to thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Um, and uh, we'll be uh, in touch again with our next webinar. So everyone have a great day. And thank you again, Lisa. Bye-bye. Thanks for having me.